Devray Mills doesn't waste any time. She knows that people are depending on her, especially now. And so I provide food and, and all of this for them, particularly in the winter, to keep them alive. And, and basically that's, that's the goal is to keep them alive. Devery spends her days and nights collecting food, clothing, money, anything for those who don't have a home. She knows that desperate feeling. Many, many years ago, due to some poor decisions, I myself was homeless. And the nuns at St. John's uh, found me and took me in. She went on to become a nurse. Today, she carries on that same compassion she once received. Devery started a missionary program called Hearts for the Homeless. Her home and car are packed with items that could and, give comfort uh, to someone for the night. It's just that they, they need a hand. Um, when you're on the street and you're living in the woods underneath a tarp, it's very difficult to even think about getting a job. She and, drives um, around the city looking for someone who needs supportive care. Devery finds people in very public places, but she also finds them in private places. Many of those people are private people. One of them is Scott Abbott. I mean, would you ever think in your life you'd be living like this? No. Scott says he's college educated, worked all his life, but lost his job at construction and became homeless this year. That's when Devery appeared. She helped me find the shelter for that generation to get me in there, which is now putting a roof over my head. And it's just, she told me where to go for the career center. I've been out there. Scott's trying to find a job, a home, and Devery, he found a friend. I mean, she does everything out of her own pocket, with donations, which isn't much. So she definitely tries to help people. And uh, I, the city does definitely need more people like her.